All right, guys, it's Jalan with the Paradox Gaming Network. And today I'm going to close up that loop that I opened earlier in the week when I talked about images. Uh, I have the PAX images to share with you, so I promised them I'm going to deliver. And then I'm going to reveal a new uh, Frequently Asked Questions document that I've been working on. That's where I've been on the side. Uh, then we're going to talk about news. When? When are we going to get some news? And I'm going to try to let you know why it's been silent for a while. And then I'm going to talk about some upcoming events where you're going to find Intrepid. Uh, before we begin, it's really weird for me to have a hat on inside. You know, the military, you would never even think of wearing a hat inside, but I got to show off. Got to show off the swag. I also got to say that I love their marketing campaign, like those little things in marketing you can do. Uh, there's the box that my swag came in. And it really worked because the UPS guy actually stopped. He handed me the box. And he's like, what's Ash as a creation? Didn't convert him to come to the game, but it was still, a, you know, it's a talking point. So that box, it's a talking point. So what did I promise you earlier in the week? Dessert. Dessert. Here we go. Going to deliver the dessert. So here's your PAX cosmetics. They look pretty good, pretty good. Uh, they're all available in a single bundle for $65 if you want to just, you know, support Intrepid and Ashes and just buy it all. If there is a piece or two that's not really what you're looking for, uh, there's your individual prices. I'm totally digging the dog, the Boston Terrier. I, I may have to pick that one up. Uh, might have to do it. Now, if the, if the T-Transport really dropped boxes as it went, I'd probably pick that up too. Uh, so the frequently asked document, frequently asked questions document, uh, I like questions, I like answers, and I like documents with questions and answers. Uh, if you ever are hanging out in the Ashes Discord, you're going to see that we keep getting like the same, like almost weekly cycle of questions. Well, what I did was I pulled them all together into a Word document, made it, or sorry, a Google's Doc document, made it all quick linkable, so you just click on the link, it takes you where you want to go. But I know a lot of people, they want just the facts. They don't want opinions. They don't want speculation. So you'll see right here that everything I have, if it's a fact, if it's an opinion, if it's a rumor, if it's a speculation, I clearly indicate that so you know what you're getting. So being an academic person, like in an earlier life, uh, I do footnotes. And so what you'll see is like, what happens if I don't buy the cosmetic during the month it's offered? Fact. Once a pre-order cosmetic has been offered and is gone, they will never be available again for purchase. So there's your footnote. Number five, it's been stated on multiple occasions on Discord, and if you open the store, you can read the description text. Well, to give you an example, this is the source document. So I did primary sources as often as I could. Same thing, uh, I heard that I can just put the cosmetics in my cart. Yes, you could, it worked last month. Uh, false, this was true this month. Why it's there, it's a fact. However, the shopping carts will be wiped when the next month update arrives from this point forward. And stated on Discord by Steven on 2 March. And then there it is. So you'll see that shopping in carts is highlighted in the Discord. If you come to our Discord, what I've tried to do is make sure that your answer has a few key words in it that you can then search on the Discord and get it for yourself. Hopefully, this will help people that have a lot of questions. It'll help some people that are trying to help promote the game. Feel free to use it. The link is going to be in the description below. Alrighty, so I know everyone's waiting for news. They're like, hey, we've been getting a steady stream of information from Intrepid, and now they seem to go like radio silent, like just dark. Uh, that's because if you know the video game industry cyclical pattern, uh, you know that there's a couple of big events coming up. And you always want to time your big reveals around those events. So, like, that's why Blizzard always holds, like, information back just before BlizzCon. And then at BlizzCon, they open up the floodgates. Well, we know that PAX is next month. And Ashes had a really strong showing at PAX West. Uh, if you just do some Google searches, uh, you'll find a lot of good media uh, stuff from PAX West and Ashes and Intrepid last year. So since PAX is at the top of the month, that should be a, a reveal of some sort. Probably bigger. That's why you're not getting anything right now. It's kind of like the, the calm before the, the news storm. Uh, what else is going on? Is they got the GDC, the gamer, uh, the Game Developers Conference. They're actually going to be at the uh, Epic booth, the Unreal Engine um, creators. They're going to be at that booth. So it's not like 
they're doing their own thing, uh, but they will be there. Uh, and they are looking to do some recruiting there so they can finish filling out those uh, empty team vacancies. And then, like I said, PAX East is April 5 through 8 in Boston. If you haven't bought tickets, you can buy a four-day pass from Intrepid in their store. I talked about that earlier in the week in the video. Or I just checked today, the 10th of March, at about noon. And Thursday tickets are still available, and they have some Sunday tickets left. So if you want to go to PAX or you live close to Boston, uh, you could definitely try to swing in there on Thursday. Uh, as always, guys, I like to close up my videos. I like to make sure that I tell people exactly where I'm at. I have 89 unpaid referrals. Uh, I have uh, managed to convert about 30% of the people that I talk to the game about. Now, some of that is people who click in there multiple times. They keep coming back, whatever. And like all Paradox Gaming Network's products, I always disclose earnings. So I have $126 in unpaid earnings that I will eventually get. And all that will go right back to my Ashes followers uh, when they start paying me. If you haven't signed up for Ashes of Creation yet, I would ask if you find my uh, programming useful, uh, use my referral link. It'll be in the description below. Like I said, 100% of the proceeds go right back to my community. As always, all the ways to get in touch with me, Discord is the easiest, Jalan hashtag 8446. And I would be remiss if I didn't talk about my sponsors, uh, Jonathan Bentley and Jay Wirt. They are my producers through Patreon. And right now, Sweet Tart is one of my sponsors through Twitch, not a Twitch Prime. She is actually a paying Twitch sponsor. So thank you guys for that. Uh, I just did a lot of payouts this week. In fact, I did $70 worth of giveaways this week. So thank you guys for the money. It lets me do those things. And that's it, guys. Uh, I wanted to throw some other stuff in there, not just to give you dessert. Dessert. Uh, but now I'm going to go dark on Ashes again, probably till after PAX, unless, of course, something big drops. If something big drops, I'll report it right away. Take care, guys, and see you in that next Ashes video. Hey, you. Yes, you. Yeah, yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Hit that subscribe button. Watch a couple of more videos. Go check out our website.